Hello everyone, I'm Engineer from Mio. At present, automotive grade process has a big market potential and it's in high demand. Chips are constantly becoming more localized. Next, I will introduce a CPU module MYCYT 507H and the development board. Okay, let's begin process of opening the box. When we receive the development board, we can easily see the product model HE1D on the label on side of package box. I mean industrial grade. Let's open the box now. Best of all, we can see a list of our requirements. Then let's look at the device first. One power adapter for 11 volt, divided by 5 and 60 watt. Three power cables. Each can be matched with power sockets in different countries. This is a universal Type C to USB senior communication cable. This is our DC power adapter. It can turn the adapter with a diameter of 5mm into 5.5mm. When we use our own adapter, the board can better perform a power connection. Then we will focus on the MYD YT507H development board. It's an anti-static back package. Now let's introduce our development board. The main chip is a domestic Omino T507H process. The board integrates the CPU and the G31 of the quad core Cortex A153 GPU of MP2. So its imagine processing function is powerful with multiple video inputs and outputs. The chip supports 4K at 60 FPS. H 265 decoding 4K at 25 FPS H 264 encoding and most of colony Puna video and picture decoding formats. This part is 1 GB DDR4 and 8 GB EMMC. We will bomb the factor program image with relatively complete functions for the board. If the user wants to ban the Ubuntu system, he can get the full development resources from your official link we provided. It contains a full core Ubuntu Image Perfector development board, materials, engineer development loads, SDK keys, and so on. Let's introduce the rich interface resources of our development board. Double net points are used here. Here a gigabit Ethernet and a 100 Ethernet. Integrated domestic PHY chips. Here is a HDMI interface and two USB 2.0 host interface. Type A interface is adopted. This side is debug and USB C. They all use an interface of Type C. The bug is used to communicate with the computer serial port. For USB C, we can connect a USB flash disk or a mouse through an OTG adapter cable. Switch mouse, we can cooperate with the screen display to carry out a human computer interaction operation. This is CVBD audio interface. It can often be seen on our old-fashioned TV. It is also an ancient interface. The supported resolution is not too high. Compared with our HDMI, HDMI is the fifth generation audio and video output interface. CVBS is the first generation. Here is a headphone output interface. It supports a 3.5mm headphone output. You can also connect a horn and then connect a 5 volt power supply to output a horn. 9 out small speaker. This is DC interface. It can be connected to a 12 volt DC power supply. This is a dial switch which is more convenient for our user to work. This row is the button on the dial switch area. This button is reset key. This is power on off key. This is fail key. It can connect a boring imaging software provided by all windows when we connect to the computer. To update the EMMC imaging, 
This is the dial switch area. When we need to switch the eMMC or SD card to start, we can perform a dialing operation according to the dialing mode prompted on the PSP. This is 40 pin Raspberry Pi interface. It can adapt our MY Wildcard module to transfer serial port signal to 485 and 232 signals. This is an interface of our door LVDS display. Here is power interface. Above is dual 8 channel data interface. Here is our ADC interface. It can support 5 ADC inputs to convert analog signals into digital signals. Above is ping SDI or Archer. This is the Wi Fi module interface. It can adapt to mere Wi Fi and Bluetooth modules. This is the DVP camera interface. It supports ping access and flat cable access. Here is an optical fiber output of our SPDIP. It can transfer the optical fiber signal to audio signal through the transfer module. This is a 4G module antenna interface. Below is the 4G module interface. Then here is an external battery interface of RTC. When output is powered off for standby, we can use the external battery to ensure the accuracy of the internal clock. This is the interface of two LVDS screens. They can connect to seven inch small screens. Then here is the interface of MIPI-CSI camera. It is also a flat cable interface. Those two interfaces are SD card and SIM. Okay, that's all for our interface introduction. Now let's start the power on demonstration. First, we take out the Type-C data cable in the package box. Connect the Type-C data cable to the computer USB port. And then connect the other end to the development board's USB-C debug interface. Then select the appropriate power plug cable to connect the adapter. Connect the development board to the DC power supply. And then turn the dial switch to boot from EMC. On the computer, deselect the appropriate terminal on the computer. Here we select the baud rate of 115,200. And then turn the power switch on. We will see the board is powered on. After printing, our power on operation demonstration end. More interesting functions are waiting for you to explore.